The ABA and defunct teams are now officially dead, becoming ghosts of the game. The spirits of St. Louis had the ultimate last laugh. The Sildas distributed hats to anybody and everyone who wanted to have them. And those hats basically said something very clear. They said spirits of St. Louis in the front, on the back, in spirit, in perpetuity. The spirits of St. Louis will live on forever. You can feel its presence but can't touch it. You know it's there, but can't see it. The fifth element on our planet, after earth, water, air, and fire, is spirit. The force of intangibility that guides us all from a realm not contained in our own. Spirit can also produce spirits, which are supernatural beings or essence. The most supernatural sports contract in history manifested out of the merger between the ABA and NBA in 1976. While the National Basketball Association absorbed all but four ABA teams, one of the odd teams out, the spirits of St. Louis, set to become the lingering ghost for the growing league in perpetuity for forever. The Spirits of St. Louis were a basketball franchise based in St. Louis that played in the American Basketball Association ABA from 1974 to 1976. The Spirits were a colorful team featuring a number of players, both on and off the court, who were fairly successful in their basketball careers. Future NBA Hall of Famer Moses Malone was acquired during their second and final season. Maurice Lucas became an NBA All-Star with the Portland Trailblazers. Former Boston Celtics six-man Don Chaney, future Celtics head coach ML Carr, and Ron Boone, who held the record for consecutive games played in pro basketball for many years. But one of the most colorful players on the team was forward Marvin Barnes. Marvin Barnes and the Spirits of St. Louis existed for only two short years. But during that time, they transformed both pro basketball and the business of pro sports. The Spirits are the NBA's 31st team. Because of that incredible TV rights deal and the notorious escapades of Marvin Barnes, I think the Spirits may be more relevant today than when the ABA folded 40 years ago. While holding no NBA accolades post-merger, Barnes is the main focus in ESPN's 30 for 30 documentary named Free Spirits. While this documentary isn't primarily focused on ghosts, the story of the spirits of St. Louis and how they stayed connected to the NBA is nothing short of paranormal. And the symbolism is right in front of us when understanding the jersey number of the spirits' best player, Marvin Barnes, number 24. Ghost equals 24 in English reduction, while the German word for ghost, Geist, equals 24 in English reduction as well. Because of Marvin's erratic play and his irresponsibility and the rumors of his drug use that the NBA did not want the spirits included in the merger. Barnes was not the reason why the NBA owners didn't want a franchise there. They'd had a very successful NBA team in St. Louis. They'd won a world championship. Bob Pettit was a star on that team, but they couldn't make it and they moved to Atlanta. The NBA owners did not want a team back in St. Louis. They didn't think St. Louis was ready for NBA play. Uh, they didn't think they were financially stable. Two teams were left out of the merger, the Kentucky Colonels and the Spirits of St. Louis. This is where things get scary. And the Spirits of St. Louis become a monetary nightmare for the NBA due to their perpetuity payments. But first, let's look at the historical past of the paranormal and define and describe what a spirit is of the supernatural variety. Even after death, some spirits remain tethered to this world due to unfinished business. Best-selling, award-winning author and intuitive medium, Melissa Alvarez has said, there are souls who never really transition but hang around on the earthly plane due to feeling they need to watch over someone or they need to help others. There are cases where the spirit cannot let go of the negative emotions either surrounding their death or their life. These spirits fail to release from this world and cling to it. 
This is a matter of exerting free will, and those spirits remain tethered to this world until they are ready to leave. But why does the symbolism of the supernatural always pop up in subtle stories, even via the medium of professional sports. The ABA offered to purchase the remaining two franchises for $3 million each. John Brown, the owner of the Colonels, negotiated and took a deal of $3.3 million. The Silner brothers and their attorney, however, turned down the offer. They were unhappy about not being included in the NBA merger. After all, they had moved the team to a bigger market for the specific purpose of increasing their chances of getting to the NBA. Keep this thought in mind of how disgruntled the Silnus brothers were when they got the short end of the stick once we symbolically summarize the spirit. And although the former ABA owners had numerously attempted to buy out the contract twice in the past with the brothers never considering either offer, this time was different. Eventually, in January of 2014, after 40 years and paying out nearly a third of a billion dollars, the brothers in the league finally came to an agreement in which the NBA reportedly paid them an additional $500 million, plus a small fixed annual amount to get out of the original agreement. Not only will it forever be a part of NBA history, but it will also go down as one of the greatest sports deals ever made. Let's now take a look at a few other subtle signs this basketball team offers us in the regards to the spooky and the spiritual. The spirits of St. Louis's primary color was burnt orange, the same hue of orange that is associated with Halloween, which is a holiday all about ghostly spirits and fire, which emits off an orangey ember glow. The spirits of St. Louis are named after the airplane Charles Lindbergh flew nonstop from New York to Paris. It was the first solo nonstop transatlantic flight in history. But how does this all connect to the spirit realm? The symbolic meaning of an airplane is closely bound to the essence of a car, but the main difference is that the airplane is able to ascend to heaven. The spiritual aspiration. Flying is an attempt to untie the earthly bounds of our body and ego. The airplane symbolizes ascension and airplane symbols ascends you to heavens both equal 137 in the English reduction cipher, which is the 33rd prime. To the untrained eye, it may seem that I am reaching to put the pieces together on how all these various parts are connected. But when understanding that the matrix we live in continuously shows humans stories subconsciously to satiate our inner soul and influence how we view the world, it all starts to make sense. Join my Patreon today for only $5 to receive a monthly esoteric documentary on your favorite sports athletes and events. Real. Raw uncut and uncensored without the limitations of YouTube. Join today to see the other side of the sports world.